Hi friends, this is an excerpt from my full one hour and 45 minute video tutorial on plein air painting with irises. And in this particular clip, I am demonstrating how to do a really beautiful, fine contour drawing and how this is really beneficial to help your observational skills and increase sensitivity when drawing real life subjects. So for me, I'm starting at the top of my flower. I just pick a point somewhere on my paper and just draw in my sketchbook almost, if you can, without even looking down at your sketchbook. Really slow your hand-eye coordination down so that you're moving in sequence. Dipping when there's a dip, drawing a line upward, figuring out the angle is at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock moving up and down, trying to capture all of the um, finer details in the outer contours. Notice that I'm not picking my pencil up from the paper. I keep it attached. I find this a really helpful method, even if I have to trace back and travel back on, a, on the same line. Um, I really like this way of drawing. It feels like I'm very much connected to my subject. And instead of spending so much time looking at my drawing, I'm spending more time looking at the subject. So it's important at this point to just kind of almost fall into that trance of being completely engaged with our flower and dismissing any labels about, oh, this is a leaf, this is a petal. We're really just looking at what truly is before us and not taking any little detail for granted. Paying this close attention really, I think, um, enables us to see beyond that common feeling of, yes, 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 I, I recognize this as an iris. It really, I think, highlights the beauty and unique quality that makes the iris an iris and that sets it apart from every other flower. and. I think the intricate nature of those ruffles is what makes it such a magical and almost otherworldly creature. And I want you to feel the richness in this process. So you can watch me do my thing here and maybe try it for yourself. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want you to experience that quiet moment of engaging with your photo placing your pencil quietly on your paper and without any set amount of time, just drawing this image, trying not to lift your pencil off the paper and also try not to correct with an eraser. You can correct as you go along, but try not to erase anything. This is such a beautiful exercise that you can apply to any subject. I highly recommend practicing contour and drawing. It will definitely elevate your drawing game.